Welcome back. In the previous part, we arrived at St. Ursula as we went over to Lloyd's route. And we saw that Tio is here as well. So let's go see what's going on over here. Thank you for all of your help. We don't have much to offer in return, but here are some snacks. I hope you'll enjoy them. You didn't have to do that, but the gesture is still appreciated. Yeah, I've never fixed medical equipment before, so I didn't want to get anyone's hopes up. <laughs> you could have had me fooled with such fine work. You both did splendidly. That's right. I don't know what we would have done without you. We wouldn't have escaped if it weren't for you. We'd likely be brainwashed by the Supreme Leader like all the others. Just what happened to all of them? I believe I owe you an apology. A big one. Really? None of this would have happened had we protected everyone at the signing ceremony like we swore to. No, Tio, no! If only we'd been stronger. Hey, come on, Tio. Oh, Tio. No, uh, this isn't your fault. That's right. No one is blaming you for what happened. Looking back, I don't know what more you could have been expected to do. Look, Lloyd, it's Tio. I thought she might come here. Thank goodness she's all right. It looks like they're talking to evacuees from the city. Hmm? Hold on just a minute. Yeah. Things were doomed from the start. Finally dawned on me, too. Wait, what's going on here? I don't know why we ever thought we could be truly independent. It's hopeless. Huh? Uh, what's gotten into you guys all of a sudden? Uh-oh. It's obvious, isn't it? The Supreme Leader never would have occupied us again if we just obeyed the Empire like we used to. We wouldn't have to be afraid of the EDF had we not dreamed of independence. When you think about it, everything was better when we were an Imperial province. Even the economy was booming. Why give all of that up? Why did we ever want to be independent? <laughs> Get a hold of yourselves! What is wrong with all of you? There really isn't any need to be so pessimistic. The Supreme Leader and EDF aren't all we have to worry about either. There's also those huge machines. They even have the old president's backing. Everyone in the city is enthralled by them. There isn't a shred of hope. Things are going to get better anymore. No. That's not true at all! The SSS is going to keep fighting. We have allies we can depend on. The CPD, CGF, and even our friends from outside Crossbell. There are people who will surely help us. We won't allow you to suffer like this. We'll be the ones to put an end to it. Tio. Tio, you shouldn't. We used to have hope too. Thanks to you. Or at least, we thought we did. Whether it was the Mafia or that cult, or even when our own mayor became a dictator, we kept on believing. Not even Imperial occupation or the war made us lose hope. But in the end, it was all for nothing. The signing ceremony made us realize that. All we had was never hope to begin with. It was just delusion, and that made it even more painful once we accepted the truth. Again and again and again and again, over and over and over and over. We were never hope to them? No, you can't stop believing that, Lloyd. Th that can't be true. We can't just give up and... Stop. Please, just stop. Don't you see we're just so tired of all of this? Besides, you've got no right to talk to us about ending our suffering. If you hadn't arrested President Croy, then we would have already had everything we ever wanted.
Everything we did was... Hmm... Can you all hear yourselves? You're completely full of it! On to... Lloyd, Kia, Wazi... Hey! You guys are all right! I was one of the people involved in that arrest, so let me make something perfectly clear. Letting Dieter Kreuz go free for what he did over two years ago was never an option. He attacked the city, had the speaker detained, and even tried to take over the entire continent. Dieter was arrested in accordance with state law. The same as any cross Bellin would have been. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I... N yeah, but what about... What about Crossbell? They had a responsibility to do what was best for us. A responsibility? And why is that? Because you made them your symbols of justice? Because you decided they were your heroes? The SSS is just a division of the Crossbell Police Department. Nothing more, nothing less. You have no one to blame but yourselves for thinking any different. Their purpose isn't to make all of your problems go away. No one thought, sir. <laughs> I know it's been a long two years. Two years where all Crossbellans could do was powerlessly watch the Empire trample over their pride. It's natural to wish that a savior would appear and solve everyone's problems. But personally, I never wanted to see Crossbell come to that. What Crossbell has given me is irreplaceable. Friends and family that mean the world to me, like Lloyd and Vald. So it pains me to see this as someone who's come to love Crossbell more than his old home. Wazi. The SSS chose the path they did because they wanted a little girl to be free. But that same little girl couldn't help but feel it was her fault when she saw Erebonia invade and take over her home. Because she knew that none of it would have happened if she didn't exist. Kia, no. <laughs> I give it give her a moment, she's building to something. But she wasn't the only reason they chose the path that they did. The SSS had also seen how strong Crossbell became, facing adversity over and over again. They knew that if they chose any other path, the efforts and sacrifices of so many would be lost. Their home would never be the same. And they, along with that little girl, believed from the bottom of their hearts that all of Crossbell would overcome it for the better. She's right. That was what we decided. I want to answer the trust they placed in me however I can. I was all alone once, somewhere very dark. It's because of everyone around me that I have so much to be thankful for. The SSS and the people of Crossbell made me into the person I am today. So now I want to fight to help them. That means I'm here to pave a path forward for all of you too. And on it, I just know we'll see brighter days. Because it was Crossbell and its people that taught me the strength to persevere. A path forward. Maybe she's right. It could be too soon to be giving up hope. It's true we've been through a lot of hard times before. But those experiences are what made us who we are today. Yes, you're right. That's part of what makes Crossbell what it is. Maybe we are stronger than we give ourselves credit for. Look. Yay. It's disappearing. It looks like we're the ones who should be apologizing after all. There was no way to talk about people who've done so much for us. Not after you put so much on the line to protect Crossbell. Yes, and somewhere along the line we started taking that for granted. I still don't know what exactly I can do to make a difference. But the least I can do is look for a way to move forward just like you all have. That's right. We have to hold out hope. Thank you, everyone. Anyway, we should be grateful that you all made it out of the city safely. I hope you'll keep up the good fight, SSS. We'll keep cheering you on. We have to keep doing what we always have. 
That's to keep moving forward, one step at a time. That we're not naive enough to believe that will be enough to take back what we lost. It's going to take the help of everyone who calls Crossbell home. So do me a favor and think about how you can help. What you would give to be free. And I promise the SSS will support you just as much as you've always supported us. That was bleak at first, wasn't it? The SSS and their allies then bid farewell to the citizens and left the rooftop. Back inside, a familiar nurse agreed to let them use the nurse's station to talk and decide what to do next. Aww. Tio. Sorry I kept you waiting again. I'm glad you're okay. Do you hear yourself? I'm the one breathing a sigh of relief. Your injuries seemed so severe. And then we were all separated. So that's what this is all about. I can't imagine how tough it's been for you three being kept in the dark. Thanks for worrying about me. I know it couldn't have been easy. <laughs> it never is. You're always so reckless. But I knew you'd come looking for me again. Lloyd, I'm so glad you found me. Wasn't gonna stop till I did. Oh. <laughs> Would you listen to them go on and on? <gasps> I'm so happy for you, Theo. Really, Roberts? Really? Would you knock it off with the crying already? So, you're headed for the Rhineford military factory to the west. I had a feeling that might be it. You did? So that must be what you three have been doing here then. Precisely. The chief, Yona, and I have been looking into some suspicious information surrounding the factory. Not to mention I spotted a certain sketchy professor amidst the chaos of everyone fleeing the city. Yes, indeed. You mean that slime ball that supported the illegitimate regime from three years ago? Yeah, if it's gonna be anyone, it's gonna be him who's up at the Rosenberg studio, like I said. Our rubble rushes. Sixth Angui. Professor F. Novartis, the head of the 13 factories. I had a feeling the society was involved. His speciality is applied sciences, right? He's the one in charge of all of their crazy powerful tech? Yes, in addition to being the engineer who completed the first generation ions. His involvement could explain that new Zalba Soldat model and that strange mask. And the inverted characters, it could explain them as well. And that's why we've had our attention placed on the military factory. Good thinking. It's looking more and more likely that we'll uncover something to help our investigation there. Have you three found an infiltration route? It just so happens we have. Yoda and I looked into it. There was a cargo line while the factory was still under construction before the war. Ahaha! Ha. Feeds directly into the underground railway that connects to St. Ursula. Well, that's convenient. It makes sense as well. Almost too good to be true. But I trust it, if Tio is the source. We should head there right away. There's no time to waste. The sooner we uncover what's really happening, the better. Yes, and the church isn't going to look the other way if it turns out the society is the one orchestrating this incident. There's no telling the extent of that Albrea fellow's plans, but it's high time we shed some light on what's really going on. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it, if we all work together. Just try not to get caught, will you? Don't let all the hard work we did go to waste. Don't worry. We'll be careful. But thanks, Yona. We really owe you one for helping Tio out. S -s Save it, Bannings. Not like I did that much. Still, guess it's good to see you back on your feet. You're the same obnoxious brat you ever were, huh? But that's part of Yona's charm. Knock it off already. 
Well then, we'll leave investigating that factory up to the four of you. Yona and I will continue gathering as much info here as we can. You can reach the underground railway platform from the first floor lobby. Is it just me or is Robert's face far more detailed than everyone else's? Like far more detailed. Just little touches here and there. Hmm. Hmm. Got it, thanks. We'll be going now, Chief. Look after yourself. Same to you, dear. Lloyd's Craft Burning Heart has been enhanced to Burning Heart 2! The return. Right. I'm gonna keep sleuthing around for info about the Captain and look into what's going on with the Supreme Leader. Try not to let all my hard work go to waste if you can help it, okay? Take care out there. I heard Dr. Sailor. Like, look at his face. Like, the, the details there. Like, even just little shadows. Where, where like, his, um, wrinkles would be and the bags under his eyes. Just little details like that. It's almost like he's got more texture going on as well. Like, in terms of shadows on his cheeks. I don't know. Maybe it's the moustache that's throwing me off. Maybe. I heard Dr. Sayland is unaccounted for as well. She was supposed to attend an academic conference in Remiferia. You all are also acquainted with her, yes? I don't know if it has anything to do with the EDF, but I can't help but suspect it. It might help to keep it in mind as you're out scouting around. I hope Dr. Sayland is okay. Same. We'll keep our ear to the ground. You do that, but don't go getting caught yourselves. If anything were to happen to you, especially to I, I, I would never recover. That's enough. How long are you going to treat me like a child? Well, this relationship dynamic hasn't changed one bit. Indeed. Alright, so... You're up and about now. Have you changed? I was thinking of going to the roof for some fresh air earlier. Last thing I wanted to do was interrupt, so... I kind of stood back and heard that big altercation. Not gonna lie, even I was moved when I heard everything the SSS has been through. Man, I can't believe I've been a part of the problem. I still have a lot of growing up to do. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, so let's see. Reach the platform under the lobby. Let's head on down to the lobby. You can get to the underground station through the lobby. Oh, I spot the door. Beat you there. I win. Ooh. Now, I can't remember. We haven't been here, have we? This is my first time seeing the new subway line they built. It's a little eerie hearing how deftly silent it is down here. Yeah, all the trains were stopped after the city was occupied, right? Yes, we don't need to worry about the tracks being active. If I remember correctly, didn't I question where the railway track was when we came to St. Ursula in the past because we didn't see it? You could see outside that there was no place for the station. It makes sense if it's underground. I don't remember them ever mentioning actually that it's underground until now, really. Huh. Because, yeah, that, that fills in the gap of where is it? You can't see it when you're outside. You wouldn't do. It's underground. We should eventually reach where the freight and passenger lines split if we follow the line to the north. Let's make that our first destination. Walking on train lines like this always makes my heart race. Definitely. We've had to do this more than a few times over the last couple of years. Alright, let's get moving. Yeah, I definitely haven't been here before. Just that memory coming back of questioning where it was. Ah, look, the little doors move. Oh, I really like it. I really like it. Because, yeah. Assuming we can go back out. Yep. That's what I want. Because I, I remember questioning before where exactly it was. Because I remember at some point coming out here being like, I can't see where it is. Where is it? On the map? 
on the map, you see a train line and everything. Where's my world map? I don't know. But anyway. I bet we could fish here. No. Yeah, I, rem I remember questioning how, how that worked. But if it's underground, that makes sense. Completely. Perfect sense. Because there's enough room, there's enough room out outside there. You see like a little bump. There's enough room to have some stairs. It makes complete sense. Can I go behind here? Ah, The doors! <laughs> anyway. Is there anyone actually down here? No. Wait, is there a chest on the other side? No. But still, we should be able to get down this side, right? Yes. There we go. Ooh, it's eerie. Let's try going this way. This way leads to Michelin. The factory is the other way. Right. It's to the northwest. Okay, let's go. I expected Tio to say something about Michelin being that way. But no. But no. Ooh. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. So let's see here. Yeah. Hey. You're no match for us. Damn it all. Right, we can't use our united front. Take a charge, zero breaker. We'll go with zero breaker. Ah, zero breaker! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Think you can dodge this? Septenary shot! Ah, how soothing this is. Indubitably. It's my go. Dee 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 dee. Oh dear. It's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay then. Sapphire seal of mine shining from the abyss. Bolster this arm with the strength of a giant. <laughs> Crush. Akashic arm! I could have done that in my sleep. You... you were awake? <laughs> Man, you guys were super cool! Adorable. Reminds me of the old battle quotes from the Tales series. Hey! Gotcha. Let's finish this up quick. Indubitably, zero breaker again. Zero breaker! Come on, baby. I want to see about the slot that Key is in when we get out of this battle. Yeah! Got you! This is it. Let's go, Lloyd. Got it! Got you! Got you. Got you. It's my go. Hmm. Absolute zero, please. Absolute zero. That's fine. Hey, I was hoping I could maybe get something there with a the zero crap in here. Oh, that's not as fine now. My step it! Stop it! Stop sorry, killing each other! Everyone. <laughs> okay then. Okay then, let's just get that out. Sapphire We've seen it recently. Just to I make sure, you know, we my sleep. don't die. Troubling. <sighs> Is it too early to request a break? Get that going. It's a good job that's there. You know, this is reminding me a little bit of Final Fantasy VII. Also, the remake at the same time. When you go into the tunnels there. Blue, I assume. We made it to the junction. If we kept going straight, we'd eventually reach the city. Yeah, but I seriously doubt the EDF doesn't have the direction heavily guarded. I wouldn't risk it. Yep, no need to rush it. I'm sure we'll make it back to the city eventually. 
Yes, it's only a matter of time before we gather our friends and teach that so-called supreme leader a lesson. No one stands between us and our home and gets away with it. <laughs> That's the spirit. So Kia, Wazi, a little late, but I've been meaning to thank you for earlier. For what? <laughs> Whatever is it for this time. Don't play dumb. I'm talking about how you chimed in at the hospital. You helped me realize something important. The citizens of Crossbell weren't the only ones who had lost sight of the truth. We had too. The SSS had a clear dream two years ago, when Crossbell was annexed by Erebonia. We wanted our home to be free again. But it wasn't just that. We weren't blind patriots, fighting to protect personal pride or acting on some grand ideal. Had we been, our actions wouldn't have led to Crossbell losing its freedom. Wouldn't have led it straight into the arms of the Empire. And the little girl we protected over giving Crossbell its freedom and future wouldn't be here supporting us. What we truly wanted for her and for every citizen who would have to bear the burden of our choices was for them to smile. And if we could give them their home as well, then they could be free and smile as much as they dreamed. It really was that simple. Lloyd. <clears throat> it's true. That's how I felt. And I'm sure Ellie and Randy would say the same. But... Sadly, I agree. Somewhere along the line, we lost sight of that goal. The more expectations people placed on us, the more we became convinced we were obligated to win back the state's freedom. That soon turned into wanting to be seen as the very symbols of independence, to be seen as heroes to our home. All the while, we were turning our eyes away from the feelings of despair and distrust that the people had been harboring. Those feelings are probably what allowed Rufus's words to worm their way into the citizens' hearts. But regardless, we aren't going to lose our way again. We'll keep sight of our goal this time and do things our way. We're not miracle workers. We'll just do our best to make people's lives better, while others help us as much as we help them. That's what's allowed us to come this far. Good. That sounds more like the SSS I fell in love with. And if you ask me, that's what it's going to take if you want to make it through this ordeal too. Every crisis you've overcome to date has been with the help of countless others, and this will be no different. I think what Wazi means to say is every crisis we've overcome, because we're all one big family at the end of the day. That's why I decided to become Kia Bannings. <laughs> This is a chance for us to start over from zero, then. Oh, they said zero. That's right. We're going to reclaim everything that was taken from us. And as always, we're going to fight, struggle, and shine the light on the truth. Together. Huh? What was that? I heard it, too. That sounds like... It's gunfire. And not just gunfire, either. Uh-oh. Look up ahead. Stop where you are, rebels! Stop resisting. Surrender now, or there will be no mercy! You holding up all right, Tita? I I'm fine, but at this rate... Get down, you two! There's more of them. Where did you guys come from? The SSS? What are all of you doing down here? We can explain later. Let's focus on taking care of these guys first. Helmord. The SSS, huh? It must be our lucky day. Our Helmord will punish all who dare to oppose the Supreme Leader! That must be the name of this new model. <sighs> this is the last place I want to fight a Zalber Soldat. Nevertheless. Exactly. Now's not the time to falter. Everyone, 
Prepare for battle! I'll back you up with my orders. Got okay. It. Look out! That one's strong! Now we can do United Fronts. So let's do that with a UF attack. All for one! And, and one, one for all! all. Everyone! Move in! Gotcha! Yeah. Keep it up, everybody! All right. All right, let's have a look here. Toughness shield might be a good idea at this point. Keep strong. Toughness shield. My turn. Right, I never. Let's go with UF arts this time. See if that makes a difference for us. All for one and, and one, one for all. all. This is what we're capable of. This. <laughs> I'll go. Do you have an impede? You do. Sorry. They're down. No, Agate. Got it. Oh, I expected a bit more there, but okay. 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 Analyze the big guy. Beginning analysis. Analysis complete. A modern Zalba soldat piloted by the Ebon Defense Force. Far better than other soldats. It dominates the battlefield with ease. <laughs> take this! I want to see if I can take out that guy casting with this. It ends here! Ta Rising sun! Yeah, that's him sorted. You. It's my go. Okay. Semi gunner, activate. Absolute zero. Miss. Take this. Oh dear. That's troubling. Hmm, wild rage it is. All right. Let's throw out a health potion on you what? and then do Dragonfall. Let's finish this. Messed around with right. them. I am actually thinking we'll swap over to Wazzy. You're so needy. Get a toughness shield going again. Keep strong. Toughness shield. Come on, baby. Let's see about Arcaria. No, 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 no. I mean breath. So I want my health up. Arcus activate. Yeah. Thank you so much. Come on, baby. Go for another breath. Arcus activate. Okay. Cavalry edge. Arcus activate. Sure. Zero BP coming. That's very nice. Thank, Thank you so you. much. There. My turn. Indeed. Hmm. Is Agate's leg okay? It's shaking quite a bit. 
Have another breath. Just keep things nicely topped up. I feel. Thank you. Raring to go. Raring to go. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, you're close to break anyway. The damage could be good. Let's let's go with cherubic smile. Cheer up, guys! Cherubic smile. It's my go. Absolute zero. Activate. Absolute zero. <laughs> there. Got you. I can do it. Hmm. Can activate. Good luck, everyone. Thank Thanks. you. Sapphire seal of mine shining from the abyss. Bolster this arm with the strength of a giant! I mean, seeing as we've got that crit. <laughs> Crush! A Kashik arm! <laughs> nice. My turn. Alright, he's back. Hmm. Let's unleash down. that. Hammer. Mainly for that CP there. At the same time, we'll do Wild Rage. Hope you're ready. Yep. Horrible Driver set at maximum output. Ether. All right, hopefully we get some big damage here. Let's finish this. This is it. Dragon Ball! Yeah, decent. Worrying, but we should be okay. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. I'll go. Right, you have a tech. Roll for one. And, and one, one for all. all. Everyone together. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. You can do it, you can. Yeah, done. Thanks for your help, everyone. Yeah, you guys kicked butt out there. It's funny how she just runs in from the side. Nice! I... <laughs> of course I'd improve. Of course. Ugh. This can't be happening. How did that glorified forklift manage to overcome the latest Zaba sold at? We must report this to the Supreme Leader at once. But we died. Ah, we managed to take it down. Phew. I didn't doubt that we would. Good work, everyone. I thought we were goners when they were chasing us back there. Yeah, we owe you guys one. Thanks for saving our bacon. And our lives. But especially our bacon. It's so tasty. I doubt we could have taken out that Zoldat thing without you. Don't mention it. I'm glad we could count on Tita and her orbital gear. Here's hoping it will be smooth sailing from here. Look at the awesome team we're assembling. I'm sure everything will work out at this rate. Hm. You guys look like you're in good spirits. I'm so glad you're alright. So, what are the two of you doing down here in the first place, Tita? You came running from the direction of the city. Well, the thing is... Maybe it's fate. The choice of Steinsgate that we ran into you guys now of all times. 
You haven't seen Etika around, have you? Professor Russell? No, has something happened to her? We were in the IBC building when the city was occupied. A bunch of the black uniform soldiers stormed the building and demanded that my mum go with them. The next thing we knew, she was shoving us in an elevator leading underground. Oh, uh, Mom, uh, what's gotten into you? Are you freaking kidding me? I can handle this, so let me... <laughs> Does your dumb, thick skull have eyes? You saw how many there are, and they have that new model with them. I have a different request for you, Agate Crossner. Protect Tita, even if it costs you your life. Do I make myself clear? The fact she actually trusts Agate to do that. Damn it, Erica! Mom! Mom! So that's what happened. I'm not surprised Professor Russell put your safety first, although... Yeah, she's as stubborn as a mule. But it's my fault she did that. I never should have allowed us to end up in this situation to begin with. That's on me. You don't have to blame yourself, Agate. I guess that means Estelle and Joshua haven't been with you guys, huh? I'm afraid not. We haven't been able to get in touch with them since the city was occupied. Something must be jamming communications. I hope they're alright. Stan and Joshua are both season braces. I trust they'll be alright. They've, they've been through worse. I'm more worried about your mother. I don't doubt she's pretty tough for a researcher, but these are trained soldiers we're dealing with. I think it's safe to assume that she's still in the EDF's custody, at least. However, that doesn't answer why they wanted your mother to begin with. We don't know either. The soldier said something about someone needing helpers. But that's all we know. We managed to access one of the underground computers after that. And that's how we learned she was taken to the Rhinefoot military factory. Hmm. I have my suspicions on who this someone could be. See, maybe he's not at the Rosenberg studio. Hmm. Which means I also have a really bad feeling about this. So do I. Only one name comes to mind based on the information we have thus far. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. This is a guild request at the end of the day. The job is not done until it's reported in and the client gives us the reward. I'm dragging Erika out of there so I can get paid whether she likes it or not. We'll save her for sure. It sounds like we're headed for the same place, then. You can count on us for support. The more the merrier. Thanks everyone. We'd really appreciate it. I should at least be able to lend a hand when it comes to things like information gathering and technology. Don't undersell yourself. I'm sure you'll be of great help. Not gonna lie, running into you guys was good timing. We could really use the help. No problem, man. Teamwork makes the dream work, doesn't it? So the military factory is that away, huh? Yeah, let's get moving. Dead end this way. But I want to see what they say. The route leading to the city is really well guarded. The fork to the left will take us to the military factory, yeah? Let's do it then. And let's do it in the next part, because now we've got a good team assembled. I'm actually going to run back and heal them up down there, but I'll do that in between the parts. In the next part, we'll head off towards the factory. So, we shall see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.